What's up, everybody? It's a Roundtable Sports Podcast with Taylor McLean, and we're looking at the highlight video I made of Joseph Burrow. And, man, he makes the Bengals fun again. Thank you, Joe Burrow, for making watching Cincinnati Bengals games fun again because I watch all the games, and I have put the Bengals higher up on my priorities for the week every week because I like watching this man work. This guy has the arm. You absolutely see it when you see him making the throws. It might not be a laser rocket arm like Patty or Josh Allen, but I tell you what, it's plenty up there. It's got plenty of the juice, and he knows how to use it, and I love watching him make all the different throws and you know what if the line could give him more time to work it down the field the sky is the limit but for right now he's having to throw it a little bit more in the intermediate and short term because man he's getting hammered and he's having to make a lot of time for himself but I tell you what that's one of his strengths is that this man moves around the pocket makes that this takes that little step to the right step to back or step up in the pocket that means he can have a little extra time for his receiver to get open because I'll tell you what it's hard to block somebody for a certain amount of time and it's hard to cover somebody for a certain amount of time so Joe being able to make that time with his leg is paramount he's got young legs right now too he's able to run with the ball he's able to push those piles like we've seen there and like we saw on the touchdown one of the plays I especially love is coming up where he fumbles the ball and then stumbles for seven yards that was a beautiful play and you know it just goes to show you on that play ice in the veins the kid is a vampire and I love it he doesn't get rattled and that's a big thing for what's going on right now there's the fumble play love that play he doesn't get rattled by stuff like that and it's a big deal with the line the way it is right now they had Jonah Williams go out they had another starter go out and really that's a big deal when they were kind of tatters in the first place now, will it look for Cincinnati to continue to try and improve that part of their roster absolutely because they've done a good job of keeping the weapons around although AJ Green might not be back we'll see what they do with that AJ looks like he has renewed legs. He's making himself some money for the offseason by playing well and looking good with Joe. And everybody should really th think they're lucky stars that they got this guy. If you're a Bengals fan, if you're a Bengals wide receiver, however you're affiliated with the team, this guy's the truth. I'm standing behind it. He's got NFL chops. He's got everything you want in a quarterback to be successful in the NFL. It's really going to come down to the organization putting people around him, putting a defense together putting an organization behind him because really that's been an issue for Cincinnati for some time and we just I want to see them get it right for this guy because you know they can kind of keep him in the wings with franchise tag for a long long time if he, if they want to so he's kind of stuck with them but still I think they're going to put it together. I like Zach Taylor. I like the way he puts his offense together. And if he runs the team as good as he runs his offense, I'm behind this 100%. Go Joe Burrow.